Hey crew, I'm your instructor Trevor and welcome to your 10 minute City Row strength class. With City Row, you get cardio, strength, mobility, endurance, and stretching. That's everything you need. In our strength class, we'll use the opposing force of dumbbells and our own body weight to build muscular strength and endurance. Our strength classes are a fantastic complement to our rowing classes. They will make you an even stronger rower and human. I'm excited to take you through this class. Grab a medium set of weights and let's get started. So find some space in your little area. All right, let's go feet a little wider than our shoulders. We're just gonna do a nice little squat hold. So I like to go feet outside my shoulders, toes at 45 degrees. I'm sinking down low. If possible, elbows are inside my knees, right? If you're like, ooh, Trav, I don't have that mobility. That's fine, you can hold right in here. I'm cool with that, all right? But we're gonna hold here for about five seconds. Up next, we're gonna walk our hands out into a high plank position, all right? So here we go, three, two, walking our hands out. Go ahead and find yourself in a high plank. Feet are in line with the hips or the shoulders here. Now let's just raise one leg at a time. So let's raise the left foot about three to four inches off the ground. Keep kicking through the heel. You should feel your right hip flexor here. And then we're gonna drop and let's raise our right foot about four inches off the ground. Okay, it doesn't be, does not need to be super high here. We're just taking a really long body, right? If somebody pulled a string out of the top of your head, the back of your heel, that's what that would look like. Now let's walk the feet down. Let's go ahead and go left foot outside the left hand. Straight line, shin and forearm. We're gonna rotate towards the front shin, reach up towards this guy, give a little finger wiggle, hello, and then come down and across. Yeah, and then reach it back up. Beautiful, that's two. Go ahead and find the high plank again for a second. And then we go right foot outside, the right hand. Again, straight line, shin and forearm. Rotate, reach the hand up towards the sky. Little finger wiggle there. Down and across, and up towards the sky. Very nice, here we go. Drop the back knee, half kneeling position. We're just gonna fall in to our front knee here. So you wanna think hips forward, proud chest, knee is over my toe here. Gonna feel a little bit around the knee here, that's fine. And opposite hip flex, we want both of those, right? And then we'll sink back, soft bend in the front knee, let the hamstrings breathe a little bit, very nice. Switch it over, right knee down, left foot down. Again, fall forward, proud chest here, should feel the opposite hip flexor, means we're doing it right, okay. And we're gonna sink back onto the back heel, soft bend in the front knee, reach for the toe if you want it. Oh yeah, all right, let's stand up, let's rock and roll. Now, it's only 10 minutes today. Okay, so we're gonna be moving pretty quickly. I'll do my best to keep us on the same page. All right, now, first thing, we're gonna do three exercises in a circuit style. So it's gonna be three movements at five reps a piece for four minutes of your life, all right? So we're gonna go dumbbell squats, RDL, Romanian deadlift, and then hammer curls, five, 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 exact same weights the whole time, all right? So this first round, I'm gonna recommend you stay with me, right? We'll keep the same pace just to make sure we're doing it correctly. After that, you're more than welcome to go do your own thing, all right? Free willy, go for it, all right? So dumbbells on the shoulders, feet a little wider than our hips, nice proud chest, five squats, three, two, and here we go. We're coming down, goal here is hit parallel, and we get tall. Again, if you're like, Trav, I don't quite have that range of motion yet, that's fine, right? Come down to as far as you feel comfortable, and then we stand up. Main thing, if you feel those dumbbells pulling you forward, we're probably trying to go too far down, all right? So you wanna find a spot where you feel comfortable and confident in your body position, and then we come up nice and tall. With the objective being, right, it slowly gets better over time. We slowly get more range of motion, you know, hopefully in the next four minutes, right? Soft bend in the knees now, we're gonna reach our hips back, Walk the dumbbells down the front of your legs. Okay, just like we're shaving our legs. Ladies, know what I mean? I can say it because I do shave my legs at least once a week, all right? At least once a week, I almost bleed out in my shower. It's not ideal. All right, so soft bend in the knees, reach your hips back, dumbbells float down the front of the legs, and then we get tall. Now, ideally here, we're working the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Those are your go muscles, okay? Those are important. You wanna get faster? Work the hamstrings. Proud chest, we got hammer curls, we're coming up. Dumbbell goes to about 95% of our range of motion and back down. You do not want to rest the dumbbell on the shoulders. That takes away tension. And what's the beauty of strength? We gotta work our time under tension. T-U-T, tut, right? What is time under tension? That's us stressing out the muscles, right? It's tearing the muscle fibers, which, you know, kinda sounds counterintuitive. Why do we wanna tear things? But when you tear muscle fibers, they come back stronger, all right? So here we go, back to wide feet, we're back to our squats. Now, time under tension is great because when muscle fibers tear, they gotta repair themselves. When they repair themselves, they come back stronger, more durable, more dense, which is ideal. Okay, makes that body nice and strong, yeah? Here we go. Deep in the squat, four, one more, let's go. Yep, and five, we're right back into our high hinge. So again, feet nice and tight on the hips, reach the hips back. 
soft bend in the knee, right? Now, a question I get a lot of the time is, you know, Trevor, why do I need strength training? I'm a marathon runner, I'm, you know, an ultra endurance athlete, I'm a cyclist, whatever it may be. And I gotta tell you, a strong body is a capable body, all right? A capable body is an anti-fragile body. Let's say in your sport, you're constantly getting injured, right? We're always sore, we're always tired, lethargic, we're dealing with a string of injuries. More often than not, your body's just not strong enough. I mean, that's not bad, that doesn't mean it's wrong, right? But it gives us an incredible opportunity to build a better foundation. And more often than not, with everyone that I have ever worked with in my entire life, when they have a strong foundation built around strength training, they are a more durable and capable athlete overall, right? And it doesn't even speak to athlete specific. Just in your day-to-day -day life, when you're stronger, you're gonna have better posture. Why? Because your muscles are better at holding yourself up, right? We have bad posture, we're just not strong enough on the posterior chain, the back half of the body, right? So if you want to be a better athlete or just feel like you have better posture throughout the day, strength training is the gateway into that. All right, four, one more, reach back. And five, now we only got a minute left here. Okay, we're already on the home stretch. Palms in, let's row, or excuse me, let's curl. <laughs> we can row later, right? Rowing is just always on my mind. I am so city row, here we go. <laughs> nice and smooth, yeah. I don't have DNA, I have city row in A, right? Four, one more, and we curl, and release. I think we have time for one more quick round. Here we go, dumbbells come up. We're sinking heavy in the feet, hit low, nice and tall, let's go. There we go. Three, nice. Four, one more, and five. It's also important to remember, look, maybe you don't strength train often, this is a whole new concept to you, right? Reminder that if it doesn't challenge you, more often than not, it's not gonna change you, right? Look, I'm not a super powerful guy, right? I can't dunk a basketball. I don't have really good explosive capabilities. Does that mean I'm never gonna train power again? No, right? It means I'm gonna constantly try to get a little bit better. Perfection isn't my goal. Progress is my goal. And that's what we embody here at City Row, right? Maybe you're not the best rower in the world. Maybe you're not the strongest person in the world. That's okay. We want to get a little bit better every day. That's why we have thousands of classes on our app. And more coaches if you don't like me. All right, here we go, five. You'll like somebody probably. And drop, break, breathe. Check it out. We're gonna speed race into this next one. Think of a NASCAR pit crew, we're moving. We got two exercises coming at you. It's only gonna be three minutes of your life. We got reverse lunge, three on the right, three on the left lateral raise for five. Okay, here we go, dumbbells up. Reverse lunge to start, three one side, three the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. I need three minutes of your day. All right, so we step back and stand up. All right, you want some massive quads? You wanna rock some four inch shorts this summer? Do a million of these, all right? Everybody's like, Trevor, how do I get better legs? How do I get bigger legs? Do lunges all day, wake up, do lunges. Before you go to bed, do lunges. I don't know, go outside, just do lunges down the street. Make a lot of friends, here we go, three, come on. Remember, soft bend in the elbow on this one. This is a tough exercise, okay? You wanna reach out wide, right? And not pull through the top of your trap, okay? It's a shoulder movement, not a trap movement, okay? The trap is the thing at the top of your neck that carries all your stress, okay? Here we go, and three. Let's switch it over, stepping back. Nice. Two, one more. Three, yep. Now, if this is your first experience with City Row, just a reminder that we provide a well-rounded program. All right, this is strength focus, which we're gonna focus on strength, don't get me wrong, but the rowing intensive classes and the balance of our signature classes is what's gonna make you the best, most well-rounded athlete alive, right? Pretty much, probably, or at least in your zip code, <laughs> okay? So, what are you waiting on, <laughs> right? Come do strength with me, come row with me or Annie, or even Al, we're all cool, we're all fun people. Two, one more, three, yep, stand up, let's go wide. Remember, five here, soft in the elbows. Let's go out wide with the hands here as we come up. When we come up, the hands should stop at shoulder height. Okay, we're not trying to get as high as we can. Not, uh, not ideal, right? Stop at shoulder height, then come back down. Here we go, reverse. One. Now, I need about a minute and 10 seconds of your life. Okay, that's it. We're almost there. We're on the home stretch, all right? Again, with these, you want to try to keep the chest upright, but a soft hinge, a soft bend forward is more than okay, right? It's going to help you get focus in the glutes and the quads, right? that's what we want. We want a balance of glute and quad activation. Because again, how do we grow muscle? Time under tension. How do we get time under tension? We put stress on the muscle, all right? It's the beauty of exercise. Put stress on the muscle, time under tension, muscles come back stronger. Now, my personal favorite health benefit of strength training is combating osteoporosis. You don't know what that is, basically your bones just 
dissolve, right? <laughs> like that's not really a scientific term. I mean, I dropped out of college, but basically if you strength train, your bones will be stronger. If your bones are stronger, you are much less likely to fall and break a hip past the age of 60, all right? So if you want to maintain your self-independence and not be on life alert at the age of 50, highly recommend strength training, all right? Get strong. Two. You got three lunges, five lateral raises, and you're done with me. Let's go. One. Oh, man, I'm sweating. Just took 10 minutes to get a nice sweat. What is wrong with me? Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Nice and wide. Yeah, one. Two. Come on, reach it. Three. Four, one more. Five, and we drop. Beautiful. Let's stretch it out a little bit, all right? Woo, let's come across. Now, hey, Sidero, I hope you enjoyed this class, right? I'm gonna highly recommend you download our app for a free trial to get full access to all of our classes. We have multiple class types, links, and levels that we release every day. All right, so what are you waiting for? Here we go, big deep breath in. Exhale, woo! City Row! Again, my name is Trevor. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.